for the sign of Scorpio. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So Scorpio, in the recent past, we have the Justice card. Now this card, it deals with the idea of karma and law of cause and effect. Now at this time, it would have been important to remember that not everything you were dealing with was a direct result of your own actions. Sometimes we can be called upon to deal with the results of actions of someone you cared about. So at this time, it would have been important for you not to blame yourself unnecessarily if you were directly involved with a court case, it's more than likely resolved or it would have been resolved in a large degree in your favor at this time. The Justice card is paired with the Six of Pentacles. Now, this card, it is often a sign of a turn for the better, especially when it comes to money. It's one of more it's one of the more positive pinnacles or pinnacle cards in the tarot. It speaks of equality, fairness, and the cycling nature of life. Now when this card appears Uh, when this card appears, I would say that just by looking at it, you're likely to be, or you were likely, since, since we're referring to the past, you were likely to be heading into a positive cycle. Not just a time or a day, but it was a positive cycle. Okay, because the Six of Pentacles is often the card about generosity, meaning that you were either about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So you should have or you did share what you had as there was always someone who needed, needed your help or needed to be helped. So it was important to share because we, we all know we get back what we put out. And that's in the past. Now let's move on to the present. We have the Two of Cups. Now this refers to romantic partnerships, but that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, and sharing. Now keep in mind, this is a card that says that things are likely to be going very well for you at this time. You also should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. And it's paired with the hanged man. Now, this card, it shows that you're possibly at a crossroads. Uh, usually with only two options. Something like in or out, up or down, yes or no. Now, you possibly may find yourself very much wanting to do something, but have no idea what it is or how to do it. So if that does happen, that's a clear sign that you need to stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life, situations, people, and things. Now, it's possible that there is an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. Because any sacrifice 
that you make will open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. Overall, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time, particularly if you are willing to look at it or how you might be best served or how it might best serve your own interests by being willing to change. And with these two cards paired together, the Two of Cups, it refers to romantic partnerships, but not only that, it speaks of balance, friendship, and joy, and sharing. Uh, you'll be feeling usually, or you'll be feeling more than usually loved. And it's paired with the hangman. Now you could be feeling like you're at a crossroads. In or out, up or down, yes or no. You're not sure which direction to go with this two of cups. Um, just stop, relax. Take a look at the ways or ways that you might need to let go of trying to control this special romantic partnership okay so that's what you need to do uh, it should be a reflective time for you and if you are willing to look at how you might be best served um, your own interests uh, it will benefit you by being willing to change it will benefit the relationship because we're referring to the Two of Cups. Uh, so just let go of any controls because the Two of Cups is a, it's a great experience. It's a great love. It's, it's one of the best. And if you're trying to control it, you need to relax and just let it go. Stop trying to uh, control, control it um, because it should really be a thoughtful time for you and a time to reflect and enjoy this good experience. And that's going to be in the present. And let's move on to the challenge. We have a Wheel of Fortune. Now this card, it will remind us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. If suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, you need to keep your perspective because as we know, like everything else, changes. So live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is outside of our control. But even that is okay. Because we have to roll with any changes and think positive. And the will of fortune is paired with the empress now with the Empress, uh, she doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things and her own idea of what is right and what is wrong. Now keep in mind, that doesn't mean she'll always get her way. So that could go for you. Okay? Uh, on the other on the other hand, uh, the Empress is a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. Uh, she can signify coming in abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that's, um, that meaning is always financial. It does not always mean financial success. Okay, so that's with the, the Empress and with these two cards paired together. The uh, Wheel of Fortune, you have to remember to roll with the changes and count your blessings. And it's paired with the Empress. Um, at this time, you're going to feel like uh, doing things your own way 
and you're going to have your own ideas. Uh, you're going to feel like what is right and what is wrong uh, in the way that you think is best. Uh, you really don't play by the rules. And you won't feel like playing by the rules at this time. Now, just keep in mind any decisions that you make, uh, um, it could go either way. Uh, just remember that, like the Wheel of Fortune, it keeps going around and around. Things change. So whatever ideals and changes that you decide to come up with, it may not stick permanently. And you just have to be okay with it. Uh, because for one, you're not playing by the rules. So you're, you're setting your own standards. So you just never know where that's going to land. So it's with the will of fortune. Just take it how it, how it, how it rolls. Um, roll with any changes and think positive. And that's going to be the challenge. And then we have the outcome, the five of cups. Now this card reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. The question you need to ask yourself is, what are you going to choose to focus on at this time? The implication is extremely clear. Are you going to cry over spilt milk? Or are you going to focus on the milk that you still have and get on with your life? Now the point is, watch where you put your focus at this time and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. And the Five of Cups is paired with the Star Curve. Now you're more than likely to find yourself feeling inspired and you will be feeling more hopeful about the future than you have in quite some time. You'll also feel more confident that your needs, whether those needs are emotional or financial, they will be met at this time. Now nothing can be taken for granted, but it's unlikely that your confidence at this time will be misplaced. This is also a spiritual card. And you possibly could find yourself feeling at one with all creation. Now this is not a common feeling. It's not a common feeling. So make sure you savor it and embrace it. With these two cards paired together, the Five of Cups, it reminds us where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives. So, don't cry over spilled milk. Focus on the milk that you already have or focus on the milk that's left. And it's paired with the stir card. You'll be feeling inspired, more hopeful about the future than you have in a while, in quite some time. Your financial and emotional needs are being met. So you paid attention and you did not focus on the milk that was spilt, it looks like. You're focusing on the better points of your life at this time. Because with the star card, uh, you're feeling at one with creation. You're feeling great about things and yourself your environment, and it looks like uh, whatever issues that you could have had with the Five of Cups, or if you were focusing on something that wasn't for the better, it looks like you put it to, put it to the side, and you're enjoying all that the Star Card has to bring you. So Scorpio, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you like to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day. And have a great day. And have a great day. And have a great day.